Welcome to NM Serena. In this video, let us discuss regarding the determinants. A determinant is a compact form showing a set of numbers arranged in rows and columns, the number of rows and the number of columns being equal. So, determinant is a mathematical operation to be effected on the elements of a matrix. And the effect of operation gives rise to a simplified value of the determinant called determinant value. That is, we have to perform an operation called determinant on the matrix. And when we do this mathematical operation, we get a single value for a matrix. And that value represents all the elements in the matrix. This mathematical operation is called determinant and this operation gives rise to a value called determinant value. The determinants are found only for square matrices that is only for those matrices where their number of rows equals their number of columns. For example, P is equal to matrix of 0, 1, 2, 3. This is a square matrix of order 2 or we can say P is a 2 by 2 matrix. For this P matrix, we can find a determinant value. So, determinant of P is equal to determinant of 0, 1, 2, 3. This is how we write this operation. Just like writing absolute value of P. That is, P will be put inside two vertical lines determinant of p we call it determinant of p and when we put this matrix instead of uh, the square brackets we put this values in between two lines then we call it as determinant of this can be read as determinant of 0 1 2 3. In the same manner, we can find determinants for 3 by 3 matrices also. Suppose A is equal to the given 3 by 3 matrix, then we can find determinant of A. This is how it is written. Determinant of 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 0, 6, 1. So, instead of square bracket, if we put two lines on both the sides of the numbers in a matrix, then we must understand that we are going to find the determinant of that matrix. And on operation of this determinant, we will get a simplified value or the determinant value and we are going to study how to find that determinant value. And now let us see how to find the determinant value of a matrix. Suppose a matrix is given. This is a 2 by 2 matrix. Matrix of A, B, C, D. Since it is a square matrix, we can find the determinant value of that matrix. And the determinant of A, B, C, D is found using a formula. The formula is very simple. That is A into D minus B into C. AD minus BC. There is the simple formula to find the determinant value of a 2 by 2 matrix. And on computing this AD minus BC, we get a value and that value is the determinant value of this matrix. And now, let us try out a problem. A 2 by 2 matrix is given Matrix of 2, 4, 8, 2. We have to find the determinant of 2, 4, 8, 2. So, we can multiply 2 into 2 and then minus 8 into 4. 2 into 2 minus 8 into 4 is 4 minus 32 and that is minus 28. This minus 28 is the determinant value of this given matrix. And now let 
let us see how to find the determinant value of a 3 by 3 matrix. We know that determinant values can be found only for square matrices. And we have already done the determinant value calculation in the case of a 2 by 2 matrix. Now, we have to find the determinant of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. That is, it is in the order of 3. 3 rows and 3 columns. And for this purpose, we have to consider the elements in the first row. A, B, C. These 3 elements are considered for the calculation of the determinant value here. And each values are assigned a sign. We have to put plus sign for the first element and then for the second element we assign a negative sign and the third element a positive sign and again if there was one more element then we could put a minus sign there. So we take A as plus A, B as minus B and C as plus C. Let us see how it is done. First, we are taking A. When we are considering A, after that, we have to remove the row as well as the column in which A lies. The elements remaining are E, F, H, I. So, A into determinant of E, F, H, I. And then, we take the next value, that is B. The next element B is put with the minus sign that we have assigned to it. Minus B. Once we take B, then we have to remove the row and the column in which B lies. The elements that are remaining are D, F, G, I. So, minus B into determinant of D, F, G, I. Then we have to take the next element C. So plus C. Once we take C, then we have to remove the row and the column in which C lies. The elements remaining are D, E, G, H. So plus C into determinant of D, E, G, H. See, here A we have put it as positive and B we put it as negative. And C as positive. And if it was a 4 by 4 matrix, there will be one more element. There we would have put minus like that it goes. Plus, minus, plus, minus. Okay. Now we have completed our first step. And then we have to do just like what we have done in the 2 by 2 matrix. Or just like how we found the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. A into EI minus FH. A into EI minus FH minus B into DI minus FG. Minus B into DI minus FG plus C into DH minus EG plus C into DH minus GE. So, on doing this calculation, we end up with a value which is the determinant value of this matrix given here. That is how we find the determinant value in the case of a 3 by 3 matrix. And now, let us try out a problem in this model. We can find the determinant value of a 3 by 3 matrix. We have to find the determinant of 1, 2, minus 3, 2, minus 1, 2, 3, 2, 4. So, let us consider the elements in the first row. 1, 2, and minus 3. And let us assign signs to these elements. The first element will be having a positive sign. So, that will be considered as plus 1. And the second minus sign. So, it will be minus 2. And the third plus sign. So, it will be plus minus 3. That means 
minus 3 itself. So, here positive sign, here negative sign, here again positive sign. Now, let us take 1. Once we consider 1, we have to remove the row and the column in which 1 lies. The remaining elements are minus 1, 2, 2, 4. So, 1 into determinant of minus 1, 2, 2, 4. And after that, we have to take the second element along with the sign that we have assigned to it. Since it is a second element, we have assigned it negative sign. So, minus 2. And once we consider this 2, we have to remove the row and the column in which 2 lies. And the elements remaining are 2, 2, 3, 4. So, minus 2 into determinant of 2, 2, 3, 4. Then after that, we are taking the next value plus minus 3. And once we consider minus 3, we have to remove the row and the column in which that value lies. And the remaining elements are 2, minus 1, 3, 2. So, Minus 3 into determinant of 2 minus 1, 3, 2. And then we have to continue with the next step. 1 into minus 1 into 4 minus 2 into 2. Minus 2 into 2 into 4 minus 3 into 2. Plus minus 3 into 2 into 2 minus 3 into minus 1. And then let us do this calculation. 1 into minus 1 into 4 becomes minus 4. And then minus that is put as such. 2 into 2 is 4. So that becomes minus 4 minus 4. Then next component. Minus 2 into 2 into 4 is 8. 3 into 2 is 6. And this minus is put as such. And the next component plus minus 3. Plus minus 3 means minus 3 itself. That minus 3 into the figures in the bracket. 2 into 2 is 4. Minus 3 into minus 1. This minus sign is put as such. And then 3 into minus 1 becomes minus 3. So minus minus 3. That will be just like plus 3. Let us see the next step. 1 into minus 8. Minus 4 minus 4 is minus 8. So 1 into minus 8 minus 2 into 8 minus 6 is 2. So minus 2 into 2. Then minus 3 into 7. 4 minus minus 3 is 4 plus 3. So minus 3 into 7. Thus we get 1 into minus 8 is minus 8. Minus 2 into 2 is minus 4. Minus 3 into 7 is minus 21. So, minus 8 minus 4 minus 21 is minus 33. This minus 33 is the determinant value of this given 3 by 3 matrix. That is how we find the determinant value for a 3 by 3 matrix. And now, let us see what is done in the case of a 4 by 4 matrix. 4 by 4 matrix is also a square matrix. Hence, it is possible to find out the determinant value. And let us see how it is done. Similar to what we have done in the case of a 2 by 2 matrix and 3 by 3 matrix. Here, we have to find the signs of the elements in the first row. The first element is assigned a positive sign, second one negative sign, third one again positive and the fourth one again negative. Now let us take the first element A. When we take the element A, then we have to remove the row and the column in which A lies. And the elements remaining are F, G, H, J, K, L, N, O, P. So a into determinant of F, G, H, J, K, L, N, O, P. Now, let us consider the second element. And we have assigned a negative sign to the second element. So, minus B. 
Once we consider B, we have to remove the row and the column in which B lies. And the elements remaining are E, G, H, I, K, L, M, O, P. So, minus B into determinant of E, G, H, I, K, L, M, O, P. After that, the next element has to be considered, that is C. So, since the second one was negative, next one will be positive. So, plus C and once C is selected, we have to remove the row and the column in which C lies. And the remaining elements are E, F, H, I, J, L, M, N and P. So, plus C into determinant of E, F, H, I, J, L, M, N, P. Now, the next element, D. So, after plus C, next will be minus D. And once D is considered, we have to remove the row and the column in which D lies. And the remaining elements are E, F, G, I, J, K, M, N, O. So, minus D into determinant of E, F, G, I, J, K, M, N, O. So, we got four components here. A into a determinant minus B into another determinant plus C into another determinant minus D into another determinant. Now, these determinants we have to find separately. Just as how we have done in the case of a 3 by 3 matrix, we have to find the determinant of this one separately and multiply it with A. We have to find this determinant and multiply it with minus B. And find the determinant here and multiply with C. Here we have to find the determinant of this one and multiply with minus D. Let us take the first one. The determinant of F, G, H, J, K, L, N, O, P. And we have to take the elements in the first row. The first one, we'll put it as the positive, the negative, then positive. So, positive F into, once we take F, we have to remove the row and the column in which F lies. And the remaining elements will be K, L, O, P. So, F into determinant of K, L, O, P minus G. G is negative. So, minus G into, we have to remove the row and the column in which G lies. And the remaining elements will be J, L, N, P. So, minus G into determinant of J, L, N, P. And the next one, H will be positive. So, plus H. And on removing the row and column, we get J, K, N, O. So, plus H into determinant of J, K, N, O. And then applying the formula AD minus BC, we get it as F into K, P minus L, O minus G into J, P minus L, N plus H into J, O minus K, N. In the same manner, we have to find for this component also and we'll get it as E into KP minus LO minus G into IP minus LM plus H into IO minus KM. And then for the next component, for this component it will be like E into JP minus LN minus F into IP minus LM plus H into IN minus JM. And then next for the last component, it will be like E into JO minus NK minus F into IO minus KM plus G into I n minus J m. Now each of these components have to be multiplied with its corresponding elements like a minus b plus c or minus d. 
Now, the determinant of this is into A. So, we have to put A into the first line minus B into the second line and plus C into the third line and minus D into the fourth line. So, in doing this calculation, we will end up with a figure that is the determinant value of this 4 by 4 matrix. This is how we find the determinant value in the case of a 4 by 4 matrix. So, we have studied how to find the determinant values in the case of 2 by 2 matrix, 3 by 3 matrix, as well as 4 by 4 matrix. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, subscribe the channel.